Clarice Freely, I represent the community of Grand Bois in Lafouche Parish. I began, I, th I think I was uh, 28 years old, young mom, realizing that uh, our community was being bombarded by truckloads of hazardous material that were claimed to be non-hazardous. And as the days went on, our children became sick. The 301 community members got together and uh, we ended up having to file a lawsuit. But all this started in 1994. So, and now we are <laughs> 2022. So yes, it's been a long run for me as uh, working in the environmental uh, field. Not that I wanted to, I had no choice. I was a young mom with two children, um, just being a typical housewife. And the next thing you know, I'm running back and forth to Baton Rouge and chasing down trucks, tanker trucks with placards trying to see what was coming into our communities, poisoning our kids and our families. I don't know where I'd be without Louisiana Environmental Action Network. I don't know. I remember coming to my first conference here in Baton Rouge, and I probably never had driven to Baton Rouge by myself. And to meet these great group of people, like Mary Lee Orr and her sons and the other people involved with Lean, it was amazing. They've led me through some hard times and also some victories. Um, coming here, going to environmental conferences and meeting other people from different communities because I thought what was happening to my community was the worst thing. Meeting people from Ag Street, meeting people from St. James, from Girt Town, that, and, and I don't wanna miss anything, but just other people who were facing different issues but the same situation where their communities were being destroyed and no place to run, no place to go. And finding an organization like Louisiana Environmental Action Network was giving us a place where we can come together and realize that we were not alone. Well, the first thing Lean had ever done for me was to make sure that I had enough uh, paper and envelopes to stamps to send off to our, our representatives and our senators. Of course, because they're here in Baton Rouge and we were down south. So it wasn't an easy trip for us to come here. So we were mailing in uh, letters asking them to listen to our voices and let us continue to have fresh air and, and uh, clean water. And also during uh, hurricanes, merely and lean always make sure that we are safe and if there's any type of non-perishables that we could use or even tarps and um, things like that to get our community back rolling before any other organization comes in. 